Lightspeed is an American online fantasy and science fiction magazine edited and published by John Joseph Adams. The first issue was published in June 2010 and it has maintained a regular monthly schedule since. The magazine currently publishes four original stories and four reprints in every issue, in addition to interviews with the authors and other nonfiction. All of the content published in each issue is available for purchase as an ebook and for free on the magazine's website. Lightspeed also makes selected stories available as a free podcast, produced by Audi Award winning editor Stefan Rudnicki. Topic. History Lightspeed was founded and run as a science fiction magazine by publisher Sean Wallace of Prime Books with John Joseph Adams as editor. Wallace also published Lightspeed's sister companion Fantasy Magazine. Adams came on as editor of Fantasy Magazine with the March 2011 issue. Lightspeed became an SFWA qualifying market in July of 2011. In November of 2011, Adams purchased Lightspeed and Fantasy Magazine from Wallace. With the January 2012 issue, the first published under Adams's ownership, the content of both magazines was combined under the Lightspeed masthead, and Fantasy Magazine was discontinued as an entity. The Fantasy Magazine staff was also absorbed into Lightspeed. In September 2013, Lightspeed announced their first special issue, titled, Women Destroy Science Fiction, an anthology entirely written and edited by women. This issue was funded via Kickstarter, earning $53,136 with an original goal of $5,000. The additional funds allowed Lightspeed to publish further volumes, entitled, Women Destroy Fantasy, and Women Destroy Horror. Topic. Awards and recognition Lightspeed was nominated for the Hugo Award for Best Semiprozine in 2011 and 2012, and, 2013, and won the Hugo in 2014. In 2011 its podcast was awarded a Parsec Award for Maggie Clark's Saying the Names. In 2010, two Lightspeed stories were finalists for the Nebula Award for Best Short Story, Adam Troy Castro's Arvies and Vilar Kaftan's I'm Alive, I Love You, I'll See You in Reno. And in 2011, Amaryllis by Carrie Vaughn was a finalist for the Hugo Award for Best Short Story in 2011. Adam Troy Castro's Her Husband's Hands and Tom Crosshill's Mama, We Are Genia, Your Son were finalists for the Best Short Story Nebula, while Jake Kerr's The Old Equations was nominated for Best Novella. In 2012, Maria Davana Headley's Give Her Honey When You Hear Her Scream and Ken Liu's The Bookmaking Habits of Select Species were both finalists for the Best Short Story Nebula. In 2014, Ken Liu's The Litigation Master and the Monkey King and Christopher Barzak's Paranormal Romance were both finalists for the Best Novelette Nebula. In 2014, Matthew Kressel's The Sounds of Old Earth and Sylvia Spruck Wrigley's Alive, Alive O were both finalists for the Best Short Story Nebula. Some stories were nominated for the Theodore Sturgeon Award, Yoon Ha Lee's Flower, Mercy, Needle, Chain. In 2011, Jake Kerr's The Old Equations. In 2012, and Ken Liu's The Bookmaking Habits of Select Species. In 2013, several stories printed in the magazine have been reprinted in anthologies devoted to recognizing excellence in the genre. The year's best science fiction, edited by Gardner Desois, Flower, Mercy, Needle, Chain, by Yoon Ha Lee, In Fall, by Ted Kasmatka, and Amaryllis, by Carrie Vaughn. The year's best science fiction and fantasy edited by Rich Horton, Arvies. By Adam Troy Castro. No Time Like the Present. By Carol M. Schwiller. Flower, Mercy, Needle, Chain. By Yoon Ha Lee, and Standard Loneliness Package. By Charles Yu. The Best Science Fiction and Fantasy of the Year edited by Jonathan Strahan. The Zeppelin Conductors Society Annual Gentleman's Ball. 
by Genevieve Valentine. Year's Best SF-16, edited by David G. Hartwell and Catherine Kramer. How to Become a Mars Overlord, by Catherine M. Valente, and The Cassandra Project, by Jack McDevitt.